Welcome to part two of my Easter watercolor card tutorial. Be sure to check out part one because in that one I show you two other really cute Easter cards that you can paint with watercolors. I will link it in the description box and also in the top right corner of this video. So let's get started on today's designs. So this first design features this really cute and delicate floral uh, Happy Easter card. Um, so basically what you're going to do is draw four vertical lines with a pencil coming from the bottom of your page and make sure that your card is in landscape rather than portrait and also make sure that your lines are um, varying lengths. And then you're going to dab three or four pigmented dots uh, where you want the center of your flower to be and then simply drag out those dots using a clean brush with a little bit of water on it. Don't forget to also add in the black stems using a thin black marker and also write in your happy Easter greeting. And it's as simple as that. You can also add some minor details in the center of the flowers to spruce it up a little bit. For the second card, you're going to paint on nine egg shapes. Just make sure that your card is in portrait position rather than la landscape for this particular card. And you can use whatever colors you would like. Of course, I think that Easter sort of, there aren't particular colors for Easter like there are for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. So I just chose a bunch of bright colors. So blues, pinks, yellows, greens, anything will really work here. And if you want to make it easier for yourself, you can very, very lightly pencil in the egg shapes uh, before you start painting or filling in the silhouettes. Um, and this is to make sure that your eggs are sort of in a center position and they're all evenly spaced out. Once your card has completely dried, you're going to start adding all of the really fun details and doodles. So in the center egg, I decided to write Happy Easter. So here I'm just showing you a close up of exactly what I did. And you can create whatever details that you want on the eggs. On some of the eggs, I created some classic Easter patterns. On other eggs, I just painted on or rather drew on even smaller eggs, um, just random doodles here and there. You can totally have fun with this and honestly the more uh, rough that the designs look, uh, I think the better and more unique the card looks. So if some of your doodles go out of the egg shape, again I think it adds a little bit of um, novelty to the card and makes it truly look homemade and really fun. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also make sure to check out part one of the series. Have a great day guys!